Hi everyone, it's Daphne and I'm here to share my latest creation, La Romantique mini album, which is eight and a half by eight and a half and two and a half inches across the spine. This is Graphic 45's latest DCE release and uh, I'm just loving it. It's actually been out for several weeks, but it's taken me a little while to get to it. So with that, I'm gonna share with you what's going on here. So I've used Graphic 45 roses here on the front cover. This is the Precious Pink Roses. I added some cream colored ribbon and some, oh, I guess you would call it khaki colored twine and another piece of the ribbon right here. I fussy cut and popped these elements, um, which are butterflies, and I fussy cut and popped the two stamps on the front. And then I've added this filigree in the corner here and then there's a small piece of filigree here and another small piece here. And then right here around her neck, I've added a small charm, it's heart, to make the front very interesting. On the side, I chose one of the pieces of chipboard to feature and on the back, I kept it nice and simple and easy to, easy to keep flat. So I'm really loving this collection. So I wanna, if you click the sh descriptor and you click the show more, first thing you're gonna see is a material list which is uh, covers all the products used in this, um, less the uh, cardstock, the core cardstock. And then if you keep scrolling, you're going to see the cut list for this album. So I just wanna go over that real quick. Okay, inside, lovely, lovely. So over here is a cut apart and a piece of chipboard that I featured. And I probably should find something that I can demonstrate where my tuck spots are. Here we go. So this is also a tuck spot. This uh, On this page it opens up. I've left this stamp open-ended so you can slide your four by six photo here. Each of these panels is four inches wide. This one's a little longer than six inches. This would down here would be suitable for a four by four. And you can tuck behind the stamp here. Here's the chipboard um, button piece. And then this opens to the left and right, and it opens one more time to the left and right. And then I've got a sticker here on the bottom, right here, and then a sticker here on top. And then in the center is a nice large belly band um, that I put a photo mat in. So that is page one. And of course page one will be duplicated for page eight, but the patterns will vary. So I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. This is a new design. I've taken elements of my previous design and combined them. So I've done this door several times, but I've not put anything on top of it as a closure. Um, here we've got the photo mat that goes in uh, the pocket insert. And then on this page, this is page two, I chose one of the cut aparts to feature as a design element and it's laying on top of a four inch flap, four and a half inch flap. And it opens to the side and I've got tuck spot here. And then this is kind of like a, what I call a faux envelope. So if you look at the cut list, that's what I'm calling this. And it opens down and so you've got room. These are both four by six, or this is actually slightly less than four, but four by six photos would fit here. And then I've got a pocket where I put one of the um, Graphic 45 tags and then also another um, uh, cardstock backed uh, cut apart. And that is page two. Oh, and then lastly, behind the design element on the front is a small tuck spot. So this is only adhered on three sides so that you can tuck something in there. Okay, and here we are on to page three. Page three, oh, and this is open-ended so you can have your photo go right across this space. And it opens to the right and to the left. And then it opens up like so. And then inside you've got a pocket. And then lower on the pocket down here below, I've used a fussy cut rose and just added it as a design element. Okay, that is page three. And then we have an insert, large photo mat insert. Page four and five are, are almost mirror images. They were intended to be mirror images, but <laughs> when I when I went off and did my page five on my own, I did one of the uh, design papers out of sequence. But it drops down. I f uh, fussy cut and added roses to the bottom. 
of both of these pages. And then there's a second flap, which I call an internal flap. And originally I designed these to be identical, um, but I got my, my, card stuff, my cards mixed up. So they're actually, and I actually think I like it better, <laughs> but that wasn't what I had designed. So that's the second flap that drops down. And then behind that on the base page, there's tuck spots on both sides. And then this just opens up with a coordinating cardstock on top. Okay. And then this is something I don't, I haven't done before, at least not on a tutorial, which is where uh, I used a graphic 45 chipboard swing tab to actually close the, the uh, design elements. We have another large photo mat. Okay, this is a cut apart. And then these, these little pearl gems that you see, these are the flat back matte pearl gems that Graphic 45 makes. And I featured them in a, the last couple albums and I'm still using the original pack that I bought. So if you have some, you probably have enough. But I will list, list it in the material list. So this opens to the left and to the right. And then it opens up for a nice large photo space. And then we have this nice pocket here. And then in addition to that, I've decorated it with a fussy cut um, roses out of the collection and just laid it on top to make it a little bit more interesting. Here we are on page seven. So this is much like page two. It's a slight, it's a different cut apart, but it's roughly the same size. You can see I've got my two matte pearl gems here. It opens to the right. I've got a tuck spot here and a tuck spot here. And then behind the envelope, it is actually a pocket. So it's it's holding a tag and another cut apart that's paper backed. And then this is what I'm calling my faux envelope, which opens for more photo space. And this is our last insert. And then on to page eight. So uh, this, this two of the chipboard chips here, um, the little circle po uh, punches. This is a cut apart, which is popped on chipboard, and then a sticker. And then the, the word down here is love, and this is from the sticker sheet. Another sticker, and another sticker. So I used quite a few stickers on this last page. Usually I put everything together, and then I come back and try to spread out the chipboard and the um, cut aparts as well as any of the stickers that I have. So they're spread kind of evenly throughout. Here's another cut apart, but I'm, I left it open-ended as a tuck spot. This opens to the left and right again. I think this is beautiful. And then I've got this belly band with a nice large photo mat right here. So there we go. So the cut list, like I said, is in the descriptor. Click the show more and you will um, see everything that it took to make this album. Sorry about that, my doorbell rang, so I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, so there's another tuck spot here and I fussy cut and added some roses for interest here. And um, I left, left them open-ended so you can slightly tuck your photo behind it if you want, you don't have to. And this is La Romantique. I'm really proud of it. I'm really happy with it. Um, so again, click the more button or the show more button in the descriptor and you'll see the material list and the cut list. And then if you go to our homepage and select playlist and then select Le Romantique, you'll get all the tutorials that it took to make this. And I spent a little more time and added one more video to cover the spine and the cover and sort of my design process for this that I know lots of you have been asking for it and it's a very fussy long process, but I tried to at least capture some of it so you get some idea of what my thought process is as I'm designing a cover so that you can do your own. So I wanna thank everybody again for tuning in and spending time with us here at Scrap and Create. If you like our channel, take a minute to subscribe and share with somebody you know that likes to paper craft. We really appreciate you tuning in. Thanks again, everyone. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. See you soon.